What's happening, guys? Bob here with Midnight Snack. It's Midnight Snack. You know, it's, uh, it's a snack, and it's maybe around midnight. It could be. I mean, I'm indoors and underground, so, like, you, you're not going to really know whether it's midnight or not. But the point is the stuff we're going to be taking a look at on this channel, and we always do, is stuff that you could probably eat around midnight. Now, once in a while, we get something from a place that might be closing 10, 11 o'clock at night, so maybe that's not super accurate. But at the same time, 11 o'clock Central Time is midnight, I, I think, on the East Coast, Eastern Time, I'm pretty sure, last time I checked. So it, it all ties together. I mean, it's always midnight somewhere, right? It's like it's always 5 o'clock somewhere. It's always time for a midnight snack somewhere else, I, I think. Yeah, okay. So last time we did Fruit Loops Pop-Tarts. F-R-O-O-T. And um, before we get going, though, and jump into this, if you wouldn't mind, please hit the like button real quick so I can circulate these videos with the YouTube algorithm and all that good stuff. And then I can afford to buy more Fruit Loops and, and Pop-Tarts and other things that are going to kill me really, really early. Um, and and yeah, that's, that's that. So yeah, if you wouldn't mind, please go ahead and hit the like button real quick. And we are taking a look today at these Fruit Loops, and oh my God, I keep forgetting. Um, also, after the video, if you're feeling like it, check out this collegelife.com, it's a website, you can do stuff, you can look at, there's lots of internet stuff there, so like things about um, building products, and like if you ever wanted to build an e-commerce store without spending any money, just like make it offline or something and get it all ready, and then have it kind of look the way you want to look and then put it online, you can do that without getting like locked into a monthly fee with certain other companies that do that type of thing. Um, if you want to learn things like that, you can find out how to do it at thiscollegelife.com. But <gasps> finally, we're going to get going here and we're actually going to look at these Fruit Loops because last week we did Fruit Loops Pop-Tarts and last week they were actually pretty good. I mean, they tasted like somehow they tasted like Fruit Loops. Like it didn't look, it looked like liquid Jolly Rancher a little bit inside the Pop-Tarts themselves, but like it weirdly tasted pretty similar to Fruit Loops. So when I went to Target the other day, I figured, well, maybe I'll get some Fruit Loops and actually compare these. I probably should have saved at least one packet of Pop-Tarts to do a side-by-side -side comparison, but that that didn't happen because I ate them all because they were, they were pretty decent. They made me feel kind of bad a couple hours later, but by and large, they were decent. So we have got Fruit Loops today. Fruit Loops. Um, we're going to go over the box. We're going to go over nutrition facts, ingredients, all that good stuff, and just kind of look around here and see what's in it. Um, and this box has a lot to see, so we might be talking for a while here, but first things first, <clears throat> yes, it is Fruit Loops. Uh, fun fact, when these were invented, uh, they were actually F-R-U-I-T. They were regular Fruit Loops, but then when they were like released in the early 60s for the mass market, it was F-R-O-O-T. I don't know. I didn't read far enough into that to see if it's like a thing where maybe uh, truth in advertising or the FDA or I don't know, the FTC or somebody, some organization in the government was like, wait a minute, you can't say that's fruit when it's clearly not fruit. I mean, these definitely aren't loops of like bananas and oranges and stuff. These are, these are like, I mean, these are just, these are gigantic O's and they're different colors. I mean, I guess some fruits are these colors, but I, I don't think I know any fruits that are like electric blue and you got some electric blue ones in there. You got green apples, you got bananas, and you got the purple stuff, but um, yeah. So other thing we got to talk about, Toucan Sam. He is, he's there. I mean, he's uh, he's been around for a while. Um, he's, he's been the mascot for like a couple of years. And as you can see, he's, he's just kind of doing his thing, front of the box. Um, it's the family size, so it's probably a slightly bigger Toucan Sam. Um, I feel like he's definitely smaller than like a real life Toucan. And I guess it, to a point it's a little bit disturbing because he kind of has like human hands. So I don't know if this is like some kind of thing where like, like some kind of crazy government experiment like 70 years ago where they had like people mating with Toucans or something. And, and that's why, that's why he, I mean, he has like biceps. Like he has like, it, he looks like he's been lifting weights. Like he, like he, I mean, look, look at his hands. Like, look at, he, yeah, he looks like he's like jacked. And then he's got those feet, those are big feet. They're like chicken feet, but like, or bird feet, I guess, but yeah. Uh, okay, natural fruit flavors. It's got natural fruit flavors in it. That's, that's a thing. 
Um, family size from Kellogg's. There's some rewards going on with this. Our best in every bite, made with grains as first ingredient. So they put grains in here as the first ingredient. Oh, and Toucan Sam's nose like winds around to the other side too. So that's something. Um, yeah, so uh, let's keep going here, right? Before we get to the nutrition facts, let's go through this like mess of a Where's Waldo thing on the back of the box, because this is kind of interesting. Uh, Fruit Loops cranks up the color and fun any time of day. I'll let you get a look at this real quick, <clears throat> and then we'll start going through it and just kind of take a peek and see what's going on. Um, the one-of-a-kind taste and aroma will inspire you to do whatever fruits your loops. So I guess whatever fruits your loops, I, I guess I'd be a little concerned if my loop got fruited, but I mean, whatever fruits my loops. So uh, if you got this, uh, see different colors, different hue colors. They got a lot of puns in the back of here. We're, I'm going to go through all these real quick, all right? Uh, it's fun to be different. Do whatever fruits your loops. Can you spot these objects of unusual color? A red tire, an orange shovel, a yellow hat, a green dog, a blue cat, and a purple chimney. I feel like all those sound pretty normal. I don't know why they think that's kind of weird, but... Oh, wait, yeah, it is weird. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> All right, um, Fruity Beauty, can you sniff out the six fruit-shaped flowers around the neighborhood? Cherry, orange, lime, lemon, lime, raspberry. They have a green dog. There's a green dog trying to get in this pool. Look at look at that green dog up there, right? Right, right there, look at him. Look at him getting into dog shenanigans. Uh, okay. Um, who has a hose nose? Who, who has whose nose? Who knows where the hose goes? Follow each hose to see where it flows. They, uh, but they had a lot of fun writing these. I, I mean, they, I, I like, I like them. I, I don't know. I, I think I could. Oh, and Toucan Sam's down there, like playing with the kids, like he's, like he's somebody. Uh, he's like a person, but he's a toucan. Um, but who knows where the hose goes? Follow each hose to see where it flows. I smell a riddle. Find five letters hidden around the scene, then rearrange them to answer the riddle. It ran out of blank. Probably gas? I don't know. Um, <clears throat> so then somebody's drawing Toucan Sam on a sidewalk when he's 10 feet away. Okay, okay, all right. So there's a boom box, and then there's something that looks like uh, Fruit Loops Wild Berries. Ah, so they're marketing like another Fruit Loops cereal down at the bottom. Look, look, it's like a it's like a fruit stand for, for Fruit Loops. Oh wild berry so that's that's something uh and then down at the very bottom let's talk at kellogg we're working harder to earn a seat at your table what can we do to make your mornings better i don't know kellogg what can you do oh and there's a toucan sam like fountain God, where else do they have toucan sam just like strategically placed and then they got somebody eating the cereal i mean i guess you can't see if it's cereal and the houses too the roofs are made of fruit loops um, there's a disproportionate amount of, of things in this neighborhood that are made of Fruit Loops. I, I can't imagine that, can't imagine that any engineer would really, in good, in good conscience, choose Fruit Loops to, to make a house, but to each their own. Um, and there's like a Fruit Loops deal going on right here. You can see this guy's like kind of strategically handing off some Fruit Loops to another guy with a beard. It's kind of weird. That guy looks like he's 20 and all these bunch of people. Um, okay. All right. Moving on. Back to normal. Um, yeah, nutrition facts. Let's take a look at these. And if you wouldn't mind, please go ahead and hit the like button real quick. That'd be awesome. Um, 14 servings per container. So the cereal is 150 calories. Then there's not much fat. Just 3, 2%, 3%. Well, it, it adds up with if you put milk in. It gets a little more, but... A um, little bit of carbs, 34 grams. That's 12% of your daily amount. And then there's 8% of your daily fiber and then 24%. So you, you get a quarter of your daily amount of sugar, 12 grams, unless you're doing like super heavy exercises or something. I don't I don't know. A um, little bit of protein, 2 grams, vitamin D. Blah, blah, blah. The, so the thing is there's a ton of iron in this. And I, I like that there's other ingredients too that look decent, but like... You got 25% um, of your daily amount of iron, so 4.5 milligrams. Um, vitamin C, 25%. Thiamine, 20%. Riboflavin, 20%. Niacin, vitamin B6. Folate. 
Vitamin B12, 20%. Yeah, man, it's, um, there's a lot of different like vitamins and minerals in this, which is neat. You can, you can take a look at that. And so, I mean, I guess it's good. Like if you don't have a ton of money, you could get your vitamins and minerals by just kind of eating cereal. Probably not the best way to get them. Um, cause you're going to get loaded on sugar, but <clears throat> you can get your daily iron pretty quick with this. Um, okay. We're going to get down to the ingredients here. Corn flour blend, whole grain, yellow corn flour, degerminated yellow corn flour, sugar, wheat flour, whole grain, oat flour, modified corn starch, uh, vegetable oil, hydrogenated coconut, soybean, and cotton seed, oat fiber, maltodextrin, natural flavor, red 40, yellow, blah, 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 BHT for freshness. Uh, red 40, yellow 5, blue blue 1, yellow 6, BHT for freshness, vitamins and minerals, vitamin C, ascorbic acid, reduced iron, niacinamide, vitamin B6, pyrid pyridoxine high chloride what oh well th okay these are the names for the vitamins but yeah man let's just go through the these colors one more time red 40 yellow 5 blue 1 yellow 6 so i guess they make the orange with a combination of those colors but yeah there's a lot of colors a lot of preservatives um yeah i mean just a lot of chemically stuff and then there's like a little teeny tiny thing that says Toucan Sam and the Toucan Sam image are trademarks of, yeah, so they, Kellogg's owns Toucan Sam. All right, let's open it up. By the way, this is a lot of cereal. Like there is a lot of cereal here. It was like an extra dollar to get an extra 10 ounces of cereal. So just like, why not, you know? Not gonna do too much here. Oh boy, oh boy. You ever had Fruit Loops? What do you think of Fruit Loops? Do you think they're good, bad? You know, let me know in the comments, right? You know, Fruit Loops, they're, um, they definitely don't taste like fruit. Um, but I'll, I'll, I'll eat a little bit and then give a verdict on the actual taste. But, uh, you know, they definitely, they don't really smell like fruit either. You know, it's like they, I mean, like for a cereal, they're good. Like they are what they are. It's like Pop Tarts. They're kind of their own thing, but they're not. Yeah, I mean, they're not like tasting like the yellow is not like banana, the green's not like green apple or anything. But I'm gonna take a bite of this, uh, chew on it a little bit, think about it, put some thoughts into it, and then let you know in a minute what I think. All right, so two or three bites. It's good. It's definitely tasty. <clears throat> little, you can taste the sugar in it. I mean, and you can see kind of the sugar on the outside. It's like glazing the rings. Um, I like the box. I like how colorful it is. It's very appealing to look at because it's red and it's got the big toucan there smiling with his with his uh, HGH st steroid arms. He's got his human hands and stuff because he's some kind of monster from a lab, I guess. Um, oh, and 25% of your daily value of vitamin C, too. But, like, I guess the bottom line is these these aren't really fruit. Like, these don't, these don't smell like fruit, look like fruit, taste like fruit. They just, they're colored kind of like fruit. But even then, I mean, like, grapes are not, I mean, grapes are purple, but, like, not all grapes are purple, and grapes aren't the shade of purple that these are. I don't know. I mean, it's tasty, and it is kind of what it is, you know? It's like a creation of Kellogg's. Not meant to, I'm surprised there's no message on here that says like, this is not meant to replace fruit or substitute fruit or anything. Cause I mean, clearly it's not, but um, ultimately it's a fun box. It's got a lot of vitamins and minerals and nutrients and stuff. Um, taste is good, although it does taste the same. I mean, it's like, like each, each ring tastes the same as the other rings. So it doesn't really, there's no, there's no differences in taste between the colors. Um, I'm gonna say that it did taste pretty similar to the Pop-Tart last week. A little bit different, but that's just because you're talking about the grains here versus in the Pop-Tart. It's like a goop that tastes like Fruit Loops somehow. So um, I'm gonna slap this one with uh, 6.7 out of 10. And I'm gonna say, yeah, I recommend it. I mean, you, you see one of these for whatever, I can't remember what this even cost, like three bucks or 350 or something. It's a lot of cereal and you can get you can get a lot out of this, 150 calories. Um, you know, give you a good kick in the morning, good 
good amount of vitamins and minerals to start your day or whatever have at 2.33 in the morning. Like, you know, I was up at 1.30 last night. I contemplated eating some of these. I really did. That probably would have helped me go back to sleep. But in the meantime, um, I'm going to try and eat the rest of these without getting sick. And not not really. I'm going to space them out over a couple of days. But if you wouldn't mind, please go ahead and hit the like button. Um, and that's it. I'm going to see you next time. It's midnight snack. It's a little snack at midnight. It's ultimately, that's what we're doing here. We're just having a snack. You could have it at midnight, two in the morning, three in the morning. Um, and we're talking about it. You know, we're taking a look at it. There's 14 servings in here, by the way. That's kind of a lot, you know, a cup and a third cup. That's uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah. So till next time.